Hello everyone, my name is Gayan. This is my second tutorial on PHP basic login uh, page. So today uh, I'm gonna demonstrate to you, I'm gonna show you how to uh, add validation, uh, client and validation to this uh, our form. And previous tutorial I showed you how to create a database. We, in that case we created a, a sample database and uh, within the sample database we created uh, table called login and we add uh, data to it sample data then after that we create this uh, sample I mean basic uh, login page once once you enter username and password then it uh, divert you to the second page which is home page uh, it just say hello at this moment so today I'm going to show you how to add validation to this form uh, with Adobe Dreamweaver, there's a special uh, validation mechanism called a Sprite Validation Tool. So today I'm going to show you how to use that. Okay, let's start. Uh, if you want to add validation to to username text field, you can click on this text field and go insert. From that, select Sprite. From Sprite click on spry validation text field okay and uh, here you can say uh, it is required yes and when you want to add a uh, password I mean validation tool to the password click on that text field and again click insert spry spry validation text field all right and this also required type it is integer uh, actually we let's with that button we'll keep it none because we don't want to say to uh, I mean uh, other users uh, password it only accept uh, numbers so in this case we'll just keep it none but still it is required it means when a uh, user accidentally if user click login without uh, inserting any values to this text fails then automatically it, it should generate this error okay now we'll save all and we'll test this okay I'm just gonna reload it okay we'll click login and see yes a value is required uh, we can customize this to do that just click on the validation I mean uh, that spry validation select it just want to select it okay and click on code so here you can type please enter user name right and this is the second uh, spry validation this part for the second uh, validation and it is for password so we add please enter please enter password okay and we click save all and let's see I'm just gonna refresh this please enter username please enter password so now let's see we'll add Smith and without putting the password let's see yes so it asks for the password as well so we'll say the password for Smith other day we created it is one triple zero so when you click login yes uh, you add correct username and you entered correct password because of that now it redirect you to home.php as you can see okay now what we can do I'm gonna show you how to display the, I mean the username after this hello message it mean if you log in with a different username let's assume now if you're gonna log in with and login which is password this so 
so two 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 it should display here hello and okay so we'll go back to dreamweaver we click on design mode uh, with adobe dreamweaver it is really uh, convenient because it got inbuilt uh, session uh, variables uh, if you want to display a particular particularly username it got uh, inbuilt uh, variable called mm underscore username so simply you can use that to display username so we'll open home.php page and we click on bindings okay I'm just gonna delete this okay we click on bindings and we click on plus symbol and we say record set I'm gonna name it as you name okay I'm gonna select username uh, or maybe uh, yeah let's keep as it is username equal it is session variable and it should be mm underscore user name right we'll test it so if you add an it should display an yes here's the records all records for an okay i'm just gonna click okay but i think it will be better we'll add just only we'll select only username We'll test it again. This time I'm gonna put Smith and I'm gonna click OK. Yeah, you can see display the username. So I click OK and again click OK. Right? So this case it will give you the record set. Now you add record set already. So now we'll add this field just after the hello and we'll save it we'll save, save it save all we'll try it now it's local host sample login and smith the password is one triple zero there's nothing uh -oh. yeah Yes, nothing comes up. Let's see what went wrong. Session variable, yeah, that's fine. Keep it like this. And we click OK. Yeah. nothing okay what we're gonna do now we can add uh, this home dot PHP I mean we can restrict uh, access to this home dot PHP uh, just in case if uh, if any person directly copy and paste this link he uh, I mean that that user can access this page without login to the system so we don't want to do that we, we have to restrict it just for the security purpose we click on server behaviors we had click on plus symbol and we say uh, user authentication from that restrict access to this page okay uh, restrict based on username and password if deny go to where login.php we click ok all right save all just check here and here it should be sample okay speak and uh, password is one yes this page is all right okay let's see one more time again Hello Smith. So you can see 
before I didn't show anything because this page is open for anyone I mean this home dot PHP that page it was open for any user but now because we restrict based on uh, the user login then only it activate the session control so to activate this session session control you have to uh, restrict access to that particular page uh, based on session controls hope you can understand it uh, still anyway I mean you you seen what I have done uh, during this all this time okay now what we'll do we'll copy this link we'll close it this page and we'll paste it and see whether we can access it without yeah because we can access it we didn't log out so in this case now I'll show you how to add logout option it means when you click on this logout it it should destroy your session it means like uh, let's assume now you use using you using the system and uh, you get a phone call so you go out from the uh, I mean office uh, and at the meantime there's another person and he want to see what you was doing and he just he, he can just access your what your, your work whatever you was doing with uh, the system because you haven't logged out and the, your session still it is active so in this case we'll we simply add log out option one second all right so let's say log out okay i'm just going to give you give it hyperlink okay again we're going to click on uh, server behaviors plus symbol then user authentication log out user right log out when link clicked this log out and uh, when done go to login.php okay right so now let's see save all save all okay so we'll say localhost login.php this time we'll log in with maybe uh, we'll use Senna now 3333 three, three, three. login hello Sena okay now what happened if I click log out all right now let's see whether it allow us to access that home dot PHP because now session it's destroyed without having active session you shouldn't be able to you won't be able to access home dot PHP let's see yes again see if you s check this URL it check access check if if this is true then only it allows you to access this home.php because now there's no active session it won't allow you and instead um, taking you to the home.php instead it takes you to the redirect you to the login dot PHP so we'll see Smith and the password is one super zero we click on login yes hello Smith log up all right so that's all for today and next with my next uh, tutorial I'm planning to show you how to uh, display uh, dynamic text fields and also I want to show you how to add like an update record it mean uh, like just in case if uh, user want to update password change password or uh, maybe update name they should be able to do that so I'm gonna ne with next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to update record okay that's all for today thank you for watching have a good day bye